Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be upgrading a secondary M.2 SSD drive on an Alienware M18R1. So if you're planning to add additional storage capacity using the M.2 SSD, this video is gonna help you to do that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, identify the model here. If you wanna take a look at the back of your computer, uh, you should be able to identify this is an Alienware M18R1. Okay, go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver. We'll be removing the screws <coughs> as well as the back cover here. There are four screws at the bottom in which the two in the middle, the screw do come off, but then the one on the far left, bottom left, and the far right, they do not come off. So when you unscrew, you hear that little clicking sound. That means the screw has reached its peak and it doesn't come off. So just leave it as this. Okay, at this point here, you, what you wanna do is just to pry open the back cover you want to start off from the corner of the laptop because the screw that does not come off, when you unscrew it, it would push and separate the back cover like such. So go ahead and remove the back cover and you want to slide this cover, remove and slide it down towards your body as well. <clears throat> okay, so slide it down it this way. Now here is the uh, M.2 slot, meaning that you can add additional storage using on this one, okay? <clears throat> so if you're interested to, to find the uh, which M.2 can you use, uh, go ahead and look for the M.2, which is the 2230 slot, okay? So what I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below where you can buy like one terabyte, two terabyte, three, four terabyte, whichever how big you want uh, your hard drive to be. And this is the original that has the operating system installed. That is the OS M.2 drive. So to install this, you need to remove that screw. Okay. Slide the M.2 at 45 degree angle, slide it in and you want to push it down and have the screw to lock it in. All right, once you have installed the secondary M.2 drive, you need to go to disk management and initialize the disk, okay? If without initializing the disk, formatting the disk, then the computer will not be able to see it. So I'm not gonna walk you through in that process, but I'll explain it to you when you turn on the computer, uh, when it gets to the uh, the login screen, once you log in at the window desktop screen, the in the middle at the start icon, right click on the start and go to disk management. In disk management, you're gonna see disk zero, which is the OS, and disk one, you would have a black line running across of that, and that is the one that you need to initialize it. All right, hopefully this video is helpful, and again, to reinstall the uh, back cover is very straightforward. All you have to do is just to slide the uh, the back cover back in okay slide it in making sure that everything matches to the uh, to the top of the bracket here and then have the screw install and you should be all set if you have any question um, comment down below I do reach a question and again uh, check the link down the description below getting the right M.2 drive and the tools for the additional M.2 thanks for watching until next time bye now